It is a beautiful and hot summer day out there, and that trend is sticking around it's, for a while. Yeah, it's it's definitely on the toasty side. A lot of people not really ready for this or used to it, but uh, you know, as far as summer weather goes, you really can't ask for for much more. You have abundant sunshine, a gentle breeze. It is definitely warm and steamy, uh, but uh, you know, it could be worse. It could be a, a stormier day or. Uh, something uh, even more uncomfortable, but we have some sunshine. Here's time lapse. Very thin cirrus clouds drifting across the scene. Aside from that, nothing but blue sky overhead. That's uh, from our studio or Lewis did auto camera. And earlier today we started with some clouds. Perfect amount of cloud cover to make for a very beautiful sunrise. This is from Wayland. Uh, T. Hughes sent in this picture first thing this morning. Good to see the sun, the some broken cloud cover. Those clouds cleared off and with the extra sunshine and a very warm start of the day, we've managed to see mid 80s already here at lunchtime. It's 84 in Rock. Rochester, Austin 84, Charles City 84, 82 already in Winona and La Crosse, upper half of the 80s at this hour on their way to the low 90s by a day's end. Dew point 66, not maybe as high as the last couple of days, and uh, in some cases we will settle for 60s instead of low 70s, and uh, either way it's uh, on the mid to upper half of that humidity scale for the most part for this time of the year. 84, it feels like 86, air pressure is steady here in Rochester. Warm sunshine, a humid day with very light winds, and we're not going to see a whole lot in the way of wind speed over the next few days. Not a lot to stir up that air. So maybe one of those situations that you seek the shade, you look for a place to splash around in a pool or a slip and slide, what have you, because it's going to be a warm stretch of weather. There will be some uh, showers and natural fireworks, possibility of some thunder at times over the weekend. Uh, pretty sparse stuff until maybe the tail end of the weekend. That'll offer the better chance of rain. Otherwise, hot, humid will be the rule. Sunshine dominates the scene right now. We have high pressure in place just to our east, providing us with a very slight easterly breeze. High pressure across the central part of Wisconsin. And uh, all of the active weather in the country to our west and north is high pressure guiding everything up and around and keeping us high and dry. Here's future track. A couple of uh, little disturbances aloft are trying to kick off showers. They're going to stay north of us. Look at the afternoon. A couple of storms uh, skirt the northern suburbs of the Twin Cities and parts of central, even western Wisconsin. But for us, we'll stay dry. The similar situation may unfold tomorrow with uh, at least our area locally seeing the chance of isolated storms after about 2.30 or 3 o'clock. And for Saturday, similar situation. Afternoon heating, a little energy generating just a couple of sparse thunder showers, but not severe weather. And even Sunday doesn't look Severe, but maybe a more widespread rain and storms as a disturbance moves a little more closer to home for the, uh, the final two thirds of the day, afternoon, and much of the late morning hours. But today, sunshine throughout the afternoon, 88, the expected high, uh, about four or five degrees above the seasonal average, a sunset, 856. Future track looking at that high pressure staying to our north and east. Shower chances staying to our east uh, for today. Skies will be clear tonight. Temperatures upper 60s to around 70. And then tomorrow we'll see those chances of thunderstorms bubble up closer to home. So maybe a couple of isolated showers, maybe a rubble of thunder or two uh, for the afternoon hours into the early evening before we lose that daytime heating. And then clear tomorrow night. Tomorrow temperatures close to 70. And Saturday, similar situation. Now Sunday, a little more energy from the west arrives and of those increasing rain chances. Aside from that, the big story, big dome of warmth, upper level jet is, is pushing northward. We call it an omega block and a lot of heat is allowed to build into the area. A lot of uh, seasonable mugginess to go with that. And with that in mind, we're going to see a lot of big numbers in the temperature department to 90s for the next few days with heat indices in the low to mid 90s uh, coming our way. So increasing rain chances toward the end of the weekend. Otherwise, sparse showers and thunderstorms with temperatures again on the hot side here. The numbers we're expecting upper 80s to around 90 from now all the way through the heart of next week and really even the days beyond. 88 today in Rochester, Austin 88, Red Wing 89. North Iowa, similar situation, 86 in New Hampton and 85 in Cresco. Sunny with a light breeze out of the east around 5 to 10 miles per hour, 88 here in the Med City. 68, clear and muggy tonight with a very light easterly breeze. A couple of isolated storms in the afternoon tomorrow, mostly sunny aside from that. And a high of 90 and the seven-day forecast right around 90 for the holiday weekend. Very small rain chance Saturday afternoon, better chance Sunday. And there are those 80s right the next week, Jess. Yeah, not a lot of variety there, Ted. It's true. It's uh, <laughs> Very flat line. Lots of heat. Uh, just a